Our story begins on the western edge of the Canadian Shield, near the community of Steinbach, Manitoba. It's 1905, and Cornelius Taves Lowen is starting a business with his father's sawmill. The business, C.T. Lowen and Sons, would grow into the leading suppliers of windows and doors for the luxury home. This is the story of its first 100 years. C.T. learned much from his father, C.B. Lowen, a Mennonite immigrant from Russia. C.B. farmed, ran the sawmill, a threshing team, and a building moving operation. Equipped with his sawyering skills, his father's entrepreneurial spirit and faith, C.T. began cutting and milling lumber in the forest land east of Steinbeck. The success of the enterprise soon led C.T. to establish a storefront on Steinbeck's main street. In those early years, revenue came from a variety of sources, selling coal, cement, and farm machinery. But a passion for millwork kept wood products at the forefront, as the Lowen lumber yard supplied building materials for many of the large two-story homes built in Steinbeck during this period. When the Great Depression gripped North America, C.T. found innovative ways to keep the business going. Beekeeping was an important industry in the 30s, and C.T. began producing beekeeping supplies on an assembly line. By the end of the decade, the Lowen lumber yard had not only survived, it had grown. The 40s offered new opportunities as C.T. Lowen and Sons provided cross arms for the thousands of telephone and electrical poles that brought modern conveniences to rural Canada. The company also produced church pews. By standardizing the design, they could produce the pews in volume at a reasonable cost. The addition of a lumber kiln in the late 40s ensured uniform drying and allowed Lowen to branch off into a variety of millwork items. Increasingly, however, windows and doors became the Lowen's specialty and passion. With veterans of World War II returning to build houses and renew their lives at home, Lowen refocused, concentrating once again on lumber and millwork. 1948 saw a significant development in the Lowen business. The latest in window production, pre-assembled windows, were constructed in the Main Street plant and began to be sold in lumber yards across Western Canada. By the early 50s, C.T.'s sons, Cornelius Paul, Edward and George, had become leaders within the company. Ed and George focused their energy on the lumber business and made the C.T. Lowen Lumber Yard one of the largest in Manitoba. They sold building materials, ready-built homes, and of course, the Lowen built windows and doors created under the supervision of Brother Corny, also known as C.P. Under C.P.'s guidance, Lowen Millwork grew to national prominence. We had started um, producing completely assembled windows, um, and I suppose that caught the eye of Beaver Lumber Company, which was the do dominant building material uh, distributor in, in Canada at the time. They had a western division uh, that had trouble sourcing windows and approached our father. They had a meeting at the Fort Garry Hotel in Winnipeg where uh, he was offered and required to make a decision that day or that moment whether they would be willing to uh, produce and sell windows for Beaver Lumber Company, uh, Western Division, which would transform the business from basically a service to the retail division to a standalone business unit um, selling many other um, lumber yards, as we called them at the time. And uh, my father, uh, apparently made the decision on the spot without consulting with his two older brothers, uh, which was quite uncharacteristic at the time. They tended to make decisions in consensus. And that really set the window division as a, as a, as a separate business unit. This meant a huge investment in window fabrication and more growth for Lowen. 
1959, ground was broken just outside of Steinbach for a new 57,000 square foot plant. The company continued to grow during the 60s. Plants and offices were expanded. C.T. Lowen and Sons gained recognition from provincial and national organizations for both its product improvements and for stimulating employment as the company became the region's leading employer. By 1972, with both the millwork and lumberyard successful and increasingly independent, the brothers agreed to a divergence. Ed and George would continue with the lumber business under the C.T. Lowen and Sons name. Corny would create a new company, C.P. Lowen Enterprises, also known as Lowen Millwork. The growth in the company was matched by the growing commitment of the Lowen families to demonstrate their Mennonite faith by giving back to the community. In 1973, Corny created the Lowen Foundation, a non-profit organization dedicated to this day in support of a variety of charitable causes. The foundation focuses in the areas of education, faith, environment, poverty alleviation, the promotion of economic mobility, and community building, particularly in areas in which Lowen employees live and work. By the 1980s, a third generation of Lowens had joined the company, as three of CP's sons, Charles, Paul, and Clyde, followed their father into the business. With the untimely death of their father in 1985, Paul and Charles were quickly thrust into positions of major responsibility. Despite the sorrow of CP's passing, it was a year of milestones as the company undertook a major expansion and was renamed Lowen Windows to reflect its single-minded focus. Strategic repositioning continued throughout the 80s and into the 90s. As many window manufacturers moved to plastics, Lowen chose to remain with the highest quality wood material, Douglas fir, a tightly grained species, naturally tough and resilient, with a warm, rich texture. The decision to continue with premium materials remains a hallmark of the Lowen brand, synonymous with distinctive quality. Uh, till that point, we had been defined ourselves as uh, the dominant window producer in Western Canada, from Thunder Bay to the Rocky Mountains, north of the 49th parallel. With the introduction of new materials, the balkanization of market segments, the diminishing of the importance of political uh, trade barriers, we came to a business vision where we really needed to compete globally. I went to Japan for four or five days and uh, discovered that there may indeed be potential for our product to be marketed there and that really helped also to contribute to the vision of us moving out of our uh, what we defined as a niche, a geographical political niche of uh, the Canadian prairies to, to becoming a continental indeed becoming a global uh, competitor. In 1990 Lowen opened their first US branch office in Chicago the vanguard of a wave of future expansion Today, the United States is Lowen's largest single market. The 90s saw extensive integration of traditional artisanship with the latest technology. Lowen invested in an automated glazing line and North America's first four-color scanner, used to identify defects and optimize wood utilization. Product development continued including the low and heat smart line of glazing products for greater thermal protection and low maintenance cladding solutions for exterior surfaces. Just-in-time manufacturing techniques enabled exceptional productivity and the ability to respond promptly and accurately to Lowen's many custom orders. The 21st century marks new frontiers for Lowen and its visionary strategy to supply the world with the finest premium window and door products. The single largest Lowen plant expansion took place in the year 2000, bringing total manufacturing space to 567,000 square feet. The Lowen Innovation Center tests new manufacturing techniques and new products such as the Storm Force series, windows and doors offering maximum protection from hurricane force winds. A continued commitment to environmental stewardship 
in the product and manufacturing process and through recycling and tree planting initiatives. An aggressive marketing plan focused on discerning homeowners and the architects and custom builders they employ. A growing distribution network partnering with top window and door professionals in major centers around the world. One hundred years later, the business C.T. Lowen started has grown beyond his imagination. It continues to be an extraordinary journey based on the same innovation, faith, and entrepreneurial spirit with which it began.